Stresses on utility infrastructure, including cooling, power, potable water, and wastewater treatment are increasing with increased developments. District cooling has become a key strategy for reducing power demands as massive development takes place. However, district cooling systems require water for optimal energy efficiency, thus creating stresses on water supply. Potential water sources include treated effluent TSE, brackish groundwater, untreated seawater, and partially or fully desalinated seawater. Note that the following integration between utilities we are going to cover combine all possible pathways. However, not all paths would be used in a given system. There is now widespread recognition of district cooling's ability to cut power demand and energy, thus reducing government investment in power infrastructure as well power utility operating costs. Due to its higher efficiency compared to other cooling systems, district cooling frees up power capacity to meet other electricity requirements of new developments. Another potential synergy between district cooling and power generation is the use of gas turbine inlet air cooling, which increases power generation when the ambient air temperature is high. Let us go to the heat rejection path. District cooling plants typically use cooling towers to cool the chiller's condensers. Cooling towers require makeup water because some water is lost through evaporation, drift, and blowdown processes. The good thing here is that makeup water does not have to be drinking water quality. The following water sources can be used in cooling tower makeups. Seawater Seawater, when available, is a great option. But it requires much more expensive equipment that can withstand the aggressive nature of seawater quality like using corrosion-resistant cooling tower materials such as PVC or titanium heat exchangers in a direct condenser cooling system. Other low-quality waters can be used, including TSE water. Building a wastewater treatment plant in the new development helps to provide the makeup water requirement of the cooling plant and eliminates government investment in sewer lines to be connected to this development. Another makeup water source could be from desalination plants like RO plants. Salinity of product water from RO plant can vary significantly depending on the salinity of feedwater and the specific type of RO process employed. In general, the cost of RO decreases as the minimum acceptable product water salinity increases. For this reason, it is much more attractive to desalinate brackish water or treated sewage effluent than it is to desalinate seawater. Th that is due to the following salinity values of each source. Natural gas Natural gas is frequently the ultimate source for district cooling. Most often it fuels power plants that provide the electricity to drive district cooling plants. Sometimes it is used directly in district cooling plants to fuel gas engines that generate electricity for electric chillers. Therefore, district cooling plants that use natural gas can relieve pressure on government investment in power plant, transmission, and distribution infrastructure. 